Good morning to everyone. Uh, now I'm talking to the classroom. How long I haven't done this uh, training? Actually, I think two years ago already. Oh, very long. But once a while, I've got to do online training. Uh, oh, by the way, my name is Daniel. I'm uh, from AutoCal. Uh, I usually do the programming training. Anyone of you have attended the uh, developers training, right? Uh, you have seen me. So the last training was last year uh, for the API development. So today, actually, I'm going to share with you about the AutoCount Counting 2.0. And there are two days of this training. One day to the, means today is the basic. Uh, basic is overall, uh, overall overview that we need to learn about how AutoCount Accounting 2.0 works. So today, after today, basically you understand, oh, that's how AutoCount Accounting 2.0 works. Or maybe in your mind, you compare with some other software that you're already familiar with, and you can compare and see, oh, which one uh, uh, works similar or which one has uh, more uh, different features. But we cannot always compare and say, oh, AutoCAM must look like the software that I'm uh, familiar with, and all the software that I'm familiar with must have the features that AutoCAM have. We don't do that, right? Oh, everyone has their own special, special features. All right. So that's how we make our product uh, outstanding and in the market. And also, uh, today, if you haven't learned about any accounting system or software, you may also pick up some of what is really what really is uh, an accounting software? But if you say what is accounting software, you all know. Well, at the end, it's about money, right? <laughs> at the end, it's about money. It's about report. We want to uh, uh, do audit or accountants and things like that. So that's what we will find out uh, about this system, AutoCount Accounting two point zero. Uh, before we start, right, we will need to set up the AutoCount Accounting. So if your computer uh, hasn't installed yet, right? These are the things that we need. Install SQL Server, install AutoCount Accounting, and then we will create the account book. First, you need to have the installer disk, or some, nowadays I think you pass around with a USB key, right? Like our uh, implementer, uh, or the person who went for the first time to set up the system, right? Usually they will just bring a USB key. And or you, you will receive a DVD from AutoCount, then you can use a DVD to do the installation. So this is the content inside the DVD. And usually, usually when you put in the disk, it will auto run. But if it doesn't, right, then you can just double click, uh, look for browse the folder. And... So you just double click and then uh, you, you start up the setup program. So this start setup program, we try to make it as simple as possible. Here it shows you the latest version. Okay, and if it detects that your system has already set up SQL Server and so on, right, then you, you just uh, jump to update auto count accounting. And if it says, uh, and if it's like, for example, if you already have the system inside your uh, computer, but then you want to go back to older version, somehow you want to check other version, right? You can always click this advanced button. So then here you can select the specific version to install. Okay. Uh, very, very seldom, I think you need, need this. Uh, but if you need it, that's where you can find. Okay. If you are first time, right, usually you end up here. Okay. If you are first time, this computer that you want to sell or to count accounting, you run a full setup. So after you selected the full setup, click OK. All right, then you see here is standalone installation and this is network installation. So what is the difference? All right, the difference is actually both install the same thing. All right, both you can do the same thing. The thing is, if you select the network installation, right, you can split these two. You remember, see, just now we say if we want to set up auto counting, we require this. Uh, main huh? main application that we need to install. One is the SQL Server, and the other one is the AutoCount Accounting application. So here you see, if you select the network installation, actually you can split. For example, today, if at the server, we go to customer 
computer is definitely is not stand alone, right? We go to customer uh, working environment, office or somewhere, and they got one server and they say, okay, on this server, right, I don't want to install auto account accounting. Uh, I just want to hold the uh, database server. In that case, right, then you select network installation and then you choose server installation. Then you just install SQL server. Huh? So you don't have to install the client program. So client program, it means that this is the auto count accounting, right? So if today you are setting up for your own computer to do testing, you can do that also. You can select network installation and then you install the server, set up the server, and then you set up the client. Okay, another reason we choose the network installation is that when we go to, go to the server, we install the SQL server already, right? Then we go to other workstation. When we go to other workstation, do we need to install the server again? Anyone know? Do we need to install the server again? Early on, when we know about the file-based system, right? Not, now, AutoCount Accounting is uh, running on a uh, client server, all right? Client server relation, uh, SQL server. Earlier on, we have file-based SQL server. This file-based SQL server, like what? Uh, per, uh, the one called uh, S, uh, Microsoft SS. Uh. Microsoft SS actually is a file-based, uh, they don't have a server running background. So all this file-based uh, uh, database system, right? Then they need to install on each individual computer. So this net client server, right? Then you only need to install the engine, right? actually it's the engine on the server, one computer itself, only one. And all the workstation that you need to run auto count accounting, you just need to install client program. So we don't go to all computer to set up send alone. Then you everything, it happens before I've seen, seen, seen the uh, some, some of us are uh, um, forgotten or anything, right? Go and all computer install send alone. Then you find all computer also got SQL server. <laughs> Not necessary, right? Okay, it consume, consume the resources. Okay, so I'm not going to show you the whole process. This you can find uh, online wiki. All right, uh, the process, because uh, this is quite straightforward and very easy. You just click next, 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 all the way. But important is you need to make the correct selection here. That's all, okay? All right, so other than that, I think you just click next or uh, accept standard, uh, standard procedure. So I'm not going to show you the, the remaining one. Uh, after you finish installation, okay. Uh, let me reset something. Uh. Okay, I'm going to, eh, not here. Uh, should be here. Okay. Okay, let me reset something here. Okay, I'm going to show you when I first start up auto count accounting, all right? Yeah. Oh, you can find my, if you got installed 1.9, yeah? if you got installed 1.9, it will show you the list of 1.9 account book and ask you whether you want to migrate. So I don't want, I don't want to migrate, right? I want to, so then I just cancel. First time, if you have nothing in your computer and you first time started, and you have not, uh, you has not, uh, you have not installed 1.9 or 1.8 lah. Uh, this is the first screen you see. So on this first screen, right? Clear, uh, clear or not? Can see? Uh, behind, okay. Oh, yeah. So this very straightforward, right? We know this one is the to, to create a new account book. Uh, but how about this attach existing account book? Okay, we come to this. Uh, we come back to this later. What is Remember this word, attach. We just remember this word, attach, okay? Mm -hmm. And then the third one is restore. This one also quite simple, right? This one, when we think about restore, it must be something from a backup, right? Then we use the restore. Ah, this is the interesting one. This is the one that actually I want to show you is when we choose this option, right? It actually go online to download the uh, backup database, uh, backup database, which has 
sample data inside and they use it to uh for demo you can use it for demo and so on so uh if i select this option right okay then I click next then you see you can download or if you got a it should be dvd already uh, no more i think no more cd wrong uh, this one is the dvd and then or you already have the backup date uh the sample database you can actually browse the folder also you got three options but they all do the same job or uh, here they all do the same job it's just that you need to tell them where your sample data is okay let's say i want to get it from online then i uh, i don't know where where i have then i just click this one and uh you see you can cho choose on currently only one last time you got two or uh, if you all as has done the another one that i forgot called already uh happy trading or something like that if i'm not mistaken now uh. so this this uh is more proper uh, more proper database uh, it contains more updated uh data so we choose mobile phone trading then it downloaded <clears throat> then it comes to here comes to here means we want to restore the database to where all right so we have to know our server name if we install it using uh default setting uh, just on the default setting then we can straight away use this uh use this option okay we can use this that means i restore the data into my local computer okay my server is on my local computer this is when i set up at the server i set up at the server or if uh i'm standalone all right then i can use this option but today if the server is on another computer i'm one of the workstation i'm doing the restore then it's more troublesome right then i have to go to this option and then i have to tell the system where the server is okay <clears throat> the default for auto count server we call sql server instance or instance that means it is it's a specially uh environment set up the sql server environment is set up for auto count use so that instance is specially for auto count use so we call it a206 we name it a206 <coughs> why 206 because uh uh it's been it's not that auto count uh started in 206 but we developed this uh dot net framework auto count accounting since 206 we previously we got more other is uh paradox <coughs> hey, no paradox what is it called yeah? i think it is uh, uh, i also forgot the name <laughs> okay so then you after you specify right then uh, you can move on all right so for instance mine all right i use another instance name i set up myself i use another instance name <coughs> so i put my instance name and then i click uh you can try to test connection first see whether it works uh, but right uh even if it's, the server is on another computer right when you click it's very fast response if you click you have to wait for more than three seconds that means it's the instance you cannot locate all right you cannot find the inst sql server instance <coughs> so then once we're done right we click next now we restore right we are restore doing the restoration all right here you will say uh you restore from a temporary folder and so on and then all right here this one right um usually i will do that okay i'll go browse right i'll create a temporary folder here all right in my c drive or another drive or scanner is you need a temporary folder so i choose a temporary folder and then i click finish if you don't do that the chances of getting error is also there but not so high i mean it's there that that there's a chances because <clears throat> you see before i change to this c temp drive right there's a folder written right that one is in the application one of the application folder that application user application folder right sometimes is protected you cannot write so when that folder you cannot write right when you do restore you get error or you do backup you get error <clears throat> So that's why uh, it's better that we, uh, I mean, for my practice, I always put in a folder that I create. Then you, you, your chances of getting error is very low. Then you start restore. I just restore one account book from 
uh, the sample database. So if we log in to the sample database, the password is admin. The user ID admin, password same admin. This one is a uh, default now, uh, but usually user may change. <clears throat> okay, so I will upgrade the database. So do you have some data here? Like for instance, uh, I think I got some data here, you see? Sketchbook entry. <coughs> you got data here and then you got we got uh, some debtors here. Even debtors with uh, all, all in one currency now, all ring in Malaysia. And then you got sample of a creditor here. So you also got sample data of all oh, item. You see, there's a lot. There are a lot of items. Huh? There are a lot of items. So with this, right, usually you can use it for sample uh, demo or you can use for like uh, um, practice, okay, learning, testing, and so on. That's what I do also. Okay, so you, you can uh, do that as well. 